Hey everyone, it's Deanna with Paperback Daydreamer. I'm um, sorry I haven't been around the past few days. Um, I was helping my best friend and her husband and daughter move uh, five hours away. Um, if you got to see my blog last week, um, I mentioned that. But yep, we did the five hour, well let's see here, Wednesday. Um, we loaded everything up in um, all of our vehicles. We had a U-Haul, uh, two trucks, and three other no three trucks and two other like SUV type things and all of us had something in our vehicles uh, my truck was carrying the three dogs and a grill and two bicycles um, so we made the truck down there on Wednesday and then um, Thursday because we didn't get there till like 10 o'clock at night um, so Thursday we um, actually unloaded everything and started setting everything up in their new house um, so that was, you know, fun and crazy cause, um, I don't know if anyone knows anything about Spanish families, but, um, both of them are Hispanic. Um, well, Ashley's, uh, half white and half uh, Mexican and, uh, well, their families are really, really big on helping each other, which is awesome. We had like 20 plus people over at different times, like helping move stuff in and open boxes and get stuff put away and, their house isn't that big, so it was kind of crazy. We we're all crawling on top of each other, but um, so we did that, and um, I came back Friday really late night. Um, let's see here. So just got done doing that. It was really sad to leave my goddaughter and my best friend Ashley, and um, yeah, it's going to be a change, but I've already planned that um, I'm going, sorry, excuse me, I'm going to try to um, make a trip down there every month. Um, and the first one will be in August for her baptism. Um, so yeah, hopefully once a month on a weekend, I'll, um, head down there and visit them. And, um, it's only a five hour drive. It only took my truck without anything in it, um, uh, half a tank to get, um, all the way back here. So it only take a full tank of gas round trip, which is actually really good. So, um, that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I was the past few days. Um, I wasn't able to tweet about my various, um, blogs, yeah, blogs that went up, sorry, uh, my two guest ones that happened on Thursday and Friday, as well as my one on Wednesday. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and repost those this next week throughout the week so people can check them out since they're very important. Um, I appreciated Jen at Not Now. Um, I'm reading as well as Diana with Offbeat Vagabond again for doing another movie review. So um, those are also really important because they're in the giveaway that I will be announcing um, probably tomorrow um, since I'm putting this up so late tonight um, before work. So um, anyway, that's what's going on um, blog wise for the most part. So last week I finished um, Wolfsbane and Mistletoe. Um, it was a really good anthology. I was very impressed with it. Um, you know, I had a various ratings on things, but, and it was some, some of them were kind of hard to rate because I really enjoyed the story, but I would never read it again. Um, so it was hard to try to decide, you know, what rating to give them, but I really enjoyed that. So Wolfsbane and Mistletoe, again, that will be up for giveaway in my next giveaway, um, that I will be announcing tomorrow. Um, and then for this next week... Um, yeah, I haven't gotten very far in this book because of all the moving and I thought I was going to be, um, actually being able to read a little bit more than I was, uh, cause I was basically hanging out with Ashley and Jeremy's families, um, you know, cause they're really family oriented. It was a lot of fun to, you know, meet all of their family and get to know everyone. So that was a blast. I really had fun doing that. And on Thursday night we went, um, I went with one of her, no, two of her brothers, um, and one of her cousins and her, um, one of her brother's girlfriends. So there was five of us all together and we went to the Harry Potter movie, um, while Ashley and Jeremy kept, um, you know, trying to take care of a couple things and, um, you know, trying to have a little bit of downtime with all the moving and stuff. So I went to the Harry Potter movie, which I'm very excited about. And I'll actually be posting that review on Wednesday. Um, so look out for that review Wednesday. Um, and then on Tuesday, you'll see this review. Um, again, this is the book Ashley uh, lent me. And um, it's really good so far. I've only, you know, gotten like 60 pages into it. So I'll be reading um, tonight at work, tomorrow and Monday, hopefully, and get it all done and set up for Tuesday. And then I'm planning on reading um, a book, Dana um, Cameron. 
actually is, was one of the short stories I read in my Wolf's Bane and Mistletoe. Uh, the short story I read by her, I loved. I gave it, gave it a six out of five stars. It was a very unique twist on vampires and werewolves, and I really, really enjoyed it. So um, I kind of went out looking to see if it was going to turn into a series, and it's actually a short story series. Um, in her second book, um, Swing Shift, I believe is what it's called, the second um, novella in that series was a free download on her website. So I went ahead and downloaded that, and I'm planning on reading that and getting that review up on Thursday, so you guys can check that out um, and go find her books. I know she's got a third novella out already, but it's part of an anthology, so I'm going to see if I can either um, A, buy it on like the Kindle, you know, just the book, or I'll have to, you know, figure out which anthology it is and um, end up getting that. So um, yeah, Dana Cameron, that review for Swing Shift will be up on Thursday. Um, and tonight is my last night for working dispatch. Um, I'm actually, I'm sad because I'll be missing all my coworkers, but I'm excited because I get my weekends back and July has just not been the month for me at all. Like I've just been having a very up and down, mainly down month this month. So I'm very excited that August 1st is Monday. I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, definitely ready for a break. Um, so for this next week, I'll be reading those two, reviewing Harry Potter, and then I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now that Christmas in July is over, but um, we'll see uh, how all that goes. Um, also, let's see here. Um, next week, I bet I lose two friends within a week of each other. Um, so this next week, um, Friday, my friend Ariana, who has the twins, she's my coworker, um, and one of my other, you know, best friends, she actually, <laughs> she's leaving on Friday with her husband and the twins to North Carolina, which is a lot farther than five hours away. Um, so yeah, I miss, I, I'm going to lose both of them and I don't know what my social life is going to look like next semester. I'm pretty sure it's going to look like absolutely zilch because all of my friends are gone now. I'm left. That's also because I took the long way around graduating from college. So, oops. Um, anyway, so yeah, so she'll be leaving Friday. Um, so I'll probably have a depressing vlog next week after losing both of my friends that were still living here that I hung out with all the time. So we'll see. But we are planning on going out um, Thursday night. Um, I'm going to have to talk to her about that a little bit more since um, she's going to be driving the next day. And we're supposed to be going out to like drink and dance. Um, so we might be doing that earlier in the week, probably maybe Wednesday, but we'll talk about it more and I'll let you know for sure on my vlog next week. Um, so basically I don't have anything else to talk about because I'm a little tired after driving all that time and I'm a little discombobulated now that Ashley's not in town and I went by to check their mailbox today and it was kind of weird driving to their house in town when they weren't going to be there. It wasn't like I was driving to visit them. I was just driving to pick up their mail. Um, so yeah, I'm a little discombobulated. So anyway, that's kind of all that I have going on and I will definitely try to catch up with everyone's blogs, um, the next couple days along with reading, um, my books and getting the giveaways figured out. So, um, I will be announcing, uh, tomorrow, the w winner from last week, I will also be announcing the giveaway opportunity for this next week people can sign up for um, for the last Christmas in July giveaway. And it's weird that August starts Monday, so Chris, no more Christmas in July. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun, though, and I really thank you very much, Julie and Christy and Diana and Jen and Allie for all participating in my um, Christmas in July. It was actually a lot of fun, and... I think I'll be doing it again next year. So we'll see how that all goes. And um, yeah, that's all I've got. So I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. Sorry I haven't been around this past week. Um, definitely need to catch up with everybody. Um, so I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope last week was great for you. And I will talk to you all later.